Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make um, your own mod packs for Minecraft. So for this tutorial I'm going to use MultiMC here, right here. So and you open, if you open it, it will look something like this. So um, yeah, let's hop right into the tutorial I guess. So what you want to do is create a new instance and an instance is basically like a whole new Minecraft so you need to select your version we are going to go with 1.15.2 and for the name um, I'm just going to name it mod pack right like that and you don't really need to do anything and like an instance it has yeah, one version but like a whole new Minecraft folder so it has its own resource packs own mods own worlds own settings and everything so I'm just going to open it to show you really quick and you did that by double clicking it so as you can see if you full screen um, this is um, how Minecraft looks when you just install it so it has um, I have none of my normal resource packs um, norm normally my GUI skill is a little bit smaller and then you know, my brightness is a little bit and then oh Minecraft music is generally a little bit lower and stuff so I'm not going to over my settings so um, so this is basically normal Minecraft and so what you want to do is go to so that that's basically what an instance is and what you can do is go to instance folder and you can see dot Minecraft and it has its own things the saves the, the world resource packs uh, mods and all that stuff so this may look familiar when you have ever installed a resource pack or um, downloaded a world or downloaded a mod everything so if you go to percent update percent you can see here's the dot minecraft folder of your normal minecraft and here's all of, your, all of your stuff so yeah so what you want to do to install mods is um go to um you can right click and then edit instance then yeah, in version you want to uh, install forge or fabric and um, depends on what mods you're using and what they, what they require um, i'm going to install more forge because um, the mods I'm going to put in uh, require for, require um, forge, so I'm just going to do that. Generally, you want to select the one with star unless you need unless one of your mods need the newest version. Um, it's a coincidence that uh, at the time of recording, the newest version is the most recommended one, so I'm just going to go with that. And as you can see, forge installed. And um, yeah, as you can see here, the here are the loader mods, the mods you want, and uh, it has its own resource pack. So if you recommend a resource pack um, for this mod pack, you can do that too. And worlds and servers and everything. So that's cool. And if you go to settings, you want to check Java inst installation and test. And uh, for me, it succeeded. And uh, if this didn't succeed, you want a reason link in the description to install Java. Um, if it doesn't, if um, you have trouble with that, there are some tutorials how to do that. So I'm just going to close for now, yeah. And then you can go to instance folder again and Minecraft and then mods. And here you want to put in your mods. So I downloaded three mods here. Um, this is just enough items. It shows like all the recipes, and it's really useful if you're like making a mod with a lot of custom recipes. Um, like this one, Digital Craft, this is the mod I made myself um, and it has some custom recipes and stuff so it's really useful because almost no one knows what these recipes are and it's going to be really difficult to play um, you don't really need this if you are making like a PvP uh, mod pack or something but for this one I'm going to use it and I'm also Optifine because like everyone uses it so why not um, and then I'm going to dra drag them in like this and um, yeah, that's already it. So if you open this, it will have your mods and um, also Forge. You can, um, so you can, the cool thing about this is that you, that you can have recommended uh, resource packs and also recommended settings and uh, all of that stuff, worlds, whatever you want. As you can see, that's all of this stuff, which is Forge. And then if it loads, finally, yes. And as you can see, it has um, only two mods because Optifine um, doesn't uh, show up here for some reason. Just enough items and digital craft. So if we make a world really quick, I'm going to do creative and then test. So and I hope this doesn't take too long. 
So some mods require other mods and they will probably say that in the description when you download them. I have a few websites down in the description if you want if you don't know any like CurseForge or Planet Minecraft or, any, or something like that. Um, other mods do will conflict with each other and probably crash your game. So that's something you want to look out for of course not everything will. I of course tested my mods that I use uh, work so if we open our inventory as you can see um, if this thing goes away, okay. So this is just an of items mod, as you can see. It has all the recipes if you click on it. If it goes a little bit further, you can see like the mods, um, the items of my of the mod I made myself. So if you click on spider boot, you can see the recipe for that, and then the recipe for this. So these two are already working, and if we press C, as you can see, we're zooming, and we have all the Optifine settings. So this is working great. Um, all my mods are working. If one of yours is not working, um, you need to look at the cr crash report and stuff. You can also customize a lot of the mods. Um, there are some mods who can customize recipes and uh, a lot of different um, things. You can watch vid other videos for it. I'm just going to over to like just making the mod pack itself, not customizing. You can also do configs. Some mods have that, um, which is also really cool to play around with. So now I'm going to go over how to share them with your friends and um, one thing you need to look out for, um, just going to quit the game really quick, um, you can just share every mod pack with, to the public and put them on a site because some uh, mods you can't just use, you need to have permission from the owner of the, of the mod but if you just share it with your friends it shouldn't be a problem. And then, so how you want to do that? If, if you right is, um, if you right click, you want to export, and you have these three things um, here. Just select it and uh, press OK, and it's um, it's going to say the name of your mod pack and then .zip. I'm just going to save on my desktop, and um, if you go to our desktop and refresh, it's here. So that's really cool, and I'm going to test if it works. So I'm just going to delete this one. Then what you want to do is create instance, impro import from zip, and then browse, and then I saved it on my desktop, so modpack.zip, and just press OK. And uh, yeah, it's, it should have all your settings in Minecraft, and um, all the mods, and all the resource packs, all the worlds. So the game is loaded, and um, as you can see it has Forge already, and then the two mods here. Apart from what you find because it doesn't show up. And um, if you go to settings, as you can see, it has the things that I um, did really quick. And if you look here, as you can see, our test world is here. So everything works. And um, if you share it with your friends, this will work perfectly fine. Um, if you want to put it on a server, um, you ch you don't want Optifine on your server or, or um, the just enough items because those won't do anything. Um, like the mod like digital craft um, with the uh, additions to it you want to put on the server because otherwise it will not work but, but um, if you put just enough items mod it will not work that's something client side and um, you should you can find some videos about that I'm not going to go deep deeply into servers because I don't really know a lot about that either so yeah but that's really all I wanted to talk about I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more of this kind of content and um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.